What's up, everybody? Thank you for joining the vlog again. I know I've been absent a little bit, been super busy, but I promise I'll be trying to vlog a lot more because I do want to document the journey and I want to give you guys some insight of what's been going on with myself and what I've been up to. So anyway, as of uh, right now, first off, I just want to say I appreciate everybody who's been very supportive with the podcast, with everything else I've been doing. Uh, just to let you guys know, as of uh, today's recording, the podcast has reached 18 countries and it's just been freaking amazing. Now, when I say 18 countries, I don't mean like, you know, every episode, 18 different countries tune in. Um, it's more of po probably around like five to eight countries per episode that tune in. However, the podcast in its entirety has reached 18 countries in, in total, which is just amazing. I mean, these are people I don't know. Um, there are some loyal listeners for sure, such as in Spain and the UK um, that do listen. So again, I appreciate you guys so much. Whoever you guys are, just know that we wouldn't be here without you. All of you guys, international and national, we appreciate you guys. So anyway, I'm actually driving and heading towards Temecula area. I am meeting up with Josh Numbers. If you guys don't remember him, if you guys don't know him, he is he was actually on episode, I believe it was 13. Episode 13 of the Parables podcast. Uh, Josh is a serial entrepreneur, uh, had a cra has a crazy story, and um, you know one of the beauty of one of the beauty of entrepreneurship, and I don't even consider myself an entrepreneur yet, but one of the, the beauties of entrepreneurship and actually my podcast has been the blessing of being able to network with a lot of different amazing minds right and it's crazy because a lot of people like to ask me hey EJ how do you reach out to these people how are you building your network you know what are you doing um, you know some tactics like that and, and reality is I don't really approach it that way if there's anything I've learned when in regards to communication networking and trying to be surrounding surrounding yourself with like-minded people such as josh and some of the other people that i've been able to uh, uh associate with it's that you know i think we're, we're all like-minded we all have similar goals uh we bring value to each other and we understand that we have that mutual understanding of each other that we we're both trying to grow we're both trying to do uh, amazing things and it, it's not like one-sided where they're asking a favor for, some, for somebody. I mean, clearly, like for instance, with me and my podcast, I don't just ask anybody, hey, you wanna be on the podcast, that's it. You know what I mean? It's not one-sided. Clearly, if they come to my podcast, it brings value to my podcast, it gives me credibility, it gives me views, it gives me all that stuff. But at the same time, what am I doing for them? You know, they're taking time out of their day to come to my podcast, to share the story, to give some insight. And so what am I providing them? Well, there's a few things. One is we're providing, uh, I'm providing an audience for them. I'm definitely providing an audience for them. I'm bringing them awareness. Uh, it's basically like free advertising, free marketing. Um, another thing is, you know, we're reflecting back on a lot of uh, different things with their story. So I actually think, I've actually found it, um, and a lot of my guests can agree with this, they've actually found it very therapeutic to highlight some very pivotal moments in their journey. Um, and not to mention, we also share uh, conversations, conversations that are very enlightening, very impactful, very inspiring. So I know when we share these conversations, it actually helps not only myself, but them grow at the same time. And lastly, of course, what I'm doing for them is um, I, I offer them you know, content. So as you guys could see, there's, there's a lot more to it, actually, not just that, but as you guys could see, it's not one-sided. So when you... I guess what I'm trying to say is if you guys are trying to reach out, you know, trying to network, try to be surrounded by like-minded people, you see somebody you really look, look up to and you're trying to, you know, be in their circle, be in their space and learn from them, you can't approach it being one-sided. You can't approach it as, you know, a favor or, hey, let me pick your brain. It doesn't work like that. I guarantee it. You're not going to, they're not going to give you the time of day. And I had to learn that, you know, time, time is valuable and... You have to provide something to the table. That's just the reality. 
you know, there's, uh, there, there, I'm, not, I'm not to say there's obviously a lot of honest, genuine people out there who are just willing to help. But at the same time, for at the same time, you should also be providing value, even, even if they don't ask for anything in return. You have to be providing something. So again, like I said, it's just been great. We have this mutual understanding of each other where we know we could hit up each other and ask for anything, um, you know, even if we're, if it's simple as having a simple problem or pick, you know, like getting some insight on something. We have that understanding of each other and that mutual respect. And it's just been great. I encourage everybody to really dissect the way you communicate with other people, people you're trying to reach out to, people you're trying to network with. It's very important in the way you approach um, these tactics. So anyway, enough with that. Again, uh, visiting Josh, uh, we have some things to talk about. He has a lot of interesting and exciting things coming up with his business. Um, he want he, he he was uh, seeking some insight on uh, possible some podcasting as well, which I bring um you know I actually I think I have a little knowledge about. So anyway, excited to meet him up. I might stop by a manufacturer because I do want to get some podcast merch going. Um, and uh, there's actually a lot of people in Temecula that I could visit. So we'll see what uh, where this day takes us. So tune in. Josh numbers from episode 13 yes, and that's the Josh right there that his own coffee yeah. so if you Yojo if, if, Yo so if you're visiting Yojo be sure to get the Josh all right checking out this fly ass whip over here one time check out episode 13 if you guys have it everybody Bro, check out my boy Spot. Numbers, man. So proud of this guy. He has a lot going on for him. Please check him out. Follow him. His story is just beginning. My man. All right, guys. Just got done chopping it up with Josh. Man, if you guys are not following my boy Josh, please follow him. The guy's just crazy enter crazy energy positive just man dude just follow him his journey is just starting and i promise you you'll be hearing from him very soon guys so listen i just did a episode with randall pitch of live fit and dude let me tell you right now this guy's influence is insane he just posted and i'm just my my ig has not like stopped this guy's influence is crazy. Shout out to Rando and Cold Photography from Live Fit. That episode will be coming out very soon. Keep an eye on that. Right, so right now I'm here at Self Made Training Facility meeting up my boy Miguel. Swinging by, have not seen his the headquarters yet. If you guys haven't seen Miguel from episode 21, please do so. Self Made. Man, sick layout. Oh, I just pretend it's Alright, good. So, so you have all your power racks, power lifting, Olympic lifting, any type of traditional lifting. Obviously, you have the racks here. Mm -hmm. This rack here is obviously either CrossFit, cross training, or power lifting, or Olympic lifting, same thing. Bumper plates. All our stuff is branded. We custom make all our stuff overseas. So everything here, same thing with our metal plates. We have a, a beltless squat, which is a very unique piece. Most mm -hmm. people don't have those. Um, traditional stuff, cable crossover, 18 staff, the octagon. I just love, I love like the layout, the color. Like it just Everything. feels like you want to. It feels oh, you, like you, you want to fuck shit up, yeah, right? Fucking crush it, dude. There's <laughs> no way you do not want to come in yeah. and, and do something, you know? Yeah. Um, and, and we cater to everything. So you have dumbbells from two and a half pounds all the way up to 200 pounds. Yeah. Um, Play loading machines, same thing with this, like this, the equipment that we manufacture, it's custom made, it's all custom made, this stuff is, is detailed and, and it's probably one of the best equipment in the industry. Yeah. So at first I remember from our episode you had to like, first like you were having trouble trying to figure out the equipment but now oh yeah, yeah we manufacture ourselves yeah right? dude that's crazy yeah, man it's nuts dude. like you cut out the middle person right 100%. basically so yeah. i own collusion fitness products okay so that's another company i own that company basically facilitates all our other facilities all our franchises uh -huh. builds everything for them 
Yeah, and then we have our roll space here. I mean, I'm telling you, 200 pounds, 200 pounds. Oh shit. Everything from the beginning athlete to the elite elite, we have everything. But this thing here, Damn. he's a big boy. Damn. You know? Not many gyms have that. Yeah. Not many gyms have anything over 125. Uh huh. So we cater to, to all of it. And then we have our world space mobility, jiu jitsu, wrestling, um, anything of that nature. How, how, how big is like the jiu jitsu MMA stuff? Like, you know, like as part of like your, you know, it, it's your another, foundation. It's effort. another key component to what we do. It's basically going to give us a, a, a not one dimensional feel, you okay. know? A, an athlete's an athlete. So an athlete that is in jiu jitsu also needs strength and conditioning, also needs, you know, nutrition, needs all of it. So it's all under one roof, dude. Uh -huh. And instead, yeah, yeah, yeah. typically you would have to go to five different places to get one thing done. Yeah. You know, you go to one place and you get all five things. Now it's kind of like as if it's in the house. Like, yeah, yeah. Cool, yeah. cool. And, and from our indoor turf, cardio kickboxing as you notice we don't have a lot of cardio equipment because we're not here to put somebody on the hamster wheel is what we call it yeah yeah we're gonna work out we're gonna train you for that hour that's for hit cardio warm up cool down uh, and then this is ideally your actual workout so if you're paying for a trainer here you're gonna get the attention to detail where in typical gyms you're not gonna get that yeah definitely just seems like everything is here man so like you could really diversify like they your trainer could just go all in on our really, yeah yeah and the thing is it's it's exclusive so it's private there is uh -huh. no membership cost whatsoever you just have to hire the trainer of choice based on your your goal you know and your personality yeah your personality has a lot to do with it of course yeah and then obviously our retail we carry the, the best products in the industry but our main seller and focus has always been First Form. Uh -huh. um, their product's by far one of the best in the industry, and the company just as a whole, as, a, as everything, is, is by far one of the best companies in the industry when it comes to supplementation. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, and then obviously we carry our apparel, self made family, SLFMD brand. This SLFMD brand, same thing. To piggyback to what we do, yeah. um, it, it caters to everybody. Everybody can be self-made. Mm. It's not just one demographic either, you know? Yeah, yeah. Damn, man. That's cool. I like how everything's in-house. It's kind of like, it reminds me of the hospital a little bit. Yeah. Like, you know, you work, I work at Kaiser, right? Yeah, yeah. So, like, sometimes, like, different hospitals do, you have to get an x-ray over here, yeah. or they have to send you to the specialty over here, where here it seems like everything's like, all in-house. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that's cool, man. No, it's not. There we go. Yeah. Miguel, thanks for the fucking tour for self made, man. Dude, this shit was freaking. Oh, I know, man. God, I was going look good, bro. Yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go, dude. I appreciate you, you, man. Hey, dude, just real quick, man, yeah. because, dude, I look up to you a lot. What's what's maybe like two things you think people could do right away, right now, to fucking just start taking action and just fucking like going for their shit? Going in all reality, their shit. just taking the, the direct action and being very strategic to what you want to do. You got to have laser focus of what exactly you want to do. You can't. You can't hesitate. You can't procrastinate. You just gotta do it. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's real simple. Real it's simple. not it's no secret great, formula, no secret, right? No secret formula pill book you should read. None of that shit. If you have a thought, an idea, you have to be self-made. Go for it. Damn, man, I love it, dude. I, I appreciate it. Damn, Money, man, you always bring the fucking money. bro. Shout out to Miguel for the gear, man. Die starts tomorrow. Self-made hat. I appreciate you, Miguel. Man, what a fucking day. What a crazy ass day, dude. I'm feeling just like blown away, inspired. I got a lot of energy in me right now. Um, I feel like I have to pass it on. I feel like I'm doing a disservice for not passing on all this positive energy that I'm getting right now. Just through, you know, the podcast, uh, just from the meeting I had with Josh, the, the little tour I got with Miguel, and um, just everything, man. I appreciate everybody been reaching out to me. It's just, you know what, part of this journey is just, there's gonna be a lot of trial, a lot of error, a lot of speed bumps. At the end of the day, man, you just gotta keep pushing, man. And anytime positive energy is coming your way, just harness it, man. And, ah, oh, man, I just, I'm at lost of words right now. Like, I feel like I'm about to explode. Like, explode as far as, like, I just have, like, so much positive energy and value and um, wisdom has been given to me. And, man i'm just ready to just kill it and um anyway i appreciate everybody i hope uh, 
you guys get inspired by some of the things I'm doing. I, I know it seems so small, but I gotta tell you, man, that just this feeding your environment, feeding your mind with this stuff is just unparalleled. It really is. Like, I just can't describe it right now. Like, a lot of emotions going through me, and I, I feel like I, I didn't really do anything except for just like be around like some impactful, like inspiring people, man, and kind of you know taking action, just networking, and all this stuff. So. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I I'm sorry I don't got like anything like super like crazy or like, you know, I don't know, some crazy footage of something. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, hope you guys enjoy the vlog. There's going to be a lot more coming. Trust me. Appreciate you guys. Parables Podcast, EJ Cruz. More projects to be announced. TVA. Appreciate you guys.